everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brenda and I am a first time mom, as you guys can tell. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing a baby boy nursery tour. Just wanted to do a really quick intro because he's been crying all day. So I haven't been able to do any official intros lately, but hopefully this does good. And I hope you guys do like the tour. It helps you guys with inspiration. And if you guys have any questions on anything that I purchased in the video, then let me know in the comments below. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so this is the overview of the nursery and it just looks like this if you guys haven't checked out my safari themed nursery definitely go check that out so you guys can see like the before and after of what it used to look like and then what we achieved now or what I achieved now with the ocean themed nursery but anyways over down in this corner I have his bath and that's just very um, accessible for us because we bathe them right now in the sink in the kitchen just because it's like higher up for me and it's easier to like give them baths on my own so I have that there and then on this side I have this surfboard um, art print and I got those from Desenio and then on the other side I have another one I don't have anything in the middle and they're off on the side that way if they do happen to fall which they probably won't because they're really secure but if they do happen to fall they will not fall on him um, and then once he actually does start sleeping here then I'll definitely be pulling the crib out but anyways that is that and then over here I have a crib mobile and that one I actually made myself. I'm planning on actually ordering the legit one and I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it. But for the time being, I decided to DIY it myself just to like add, you know, that one thing that was missing in this, you know, in this nursery. And honestly, it does not look too bad. It's missing obviously like it's missing one in the middle right there and then it's missing I think two in two of the tentacles, one right there and then one in the back but I was just so tired and taking care of a newborn, it's like I never have time. So like, you know what, screw it, it looks good enough. So this is what we accomplished and honestly it looks super cute, I love it. And then this is the crib. I still need to buy like white crib sheets and I think maybe even like a blue tie-dye one would look super cool in here. But for now I just have this like comforter thing covering the mattress. And then over on this side I have a little plush fish thing. And then over on this side, I have another art print, same from Desenio, and it's just a van with a surfboard on top and then a palm tree. And then we have this palm tree plant that I've been carrying all over my house. I really want to get rid of it and I want to switch it for a actual like palm leaf tree instead of like, you know, palm branches, if you know what I mean. So I definitely am looking to switch that over when I have the chance, but this is what I have for now. And then in this corner, I have two anchors. One is white and one is navy blue. And I just have a sand cloud towel hanging on there for aesthetics, but then usually I hang his bath towel on there as well. And then over in this corner is our window. And over here, I just have a little basket and it has wipes and hand sanitizer. And then obviously it's changing mat. And I don't have any cover on it because um, the one that I had he got dirty and at this point it's like it's useless to even have one when this is just like if it does get dirty you can just wipe it down so that's why I don't have a mat on it anymore but that's that it's very very simple very minimalistic in the drawers in this first one I have everything that I need to change him so I have baby wipes diapers I am looking to change them to cloth diapers um, within the next couple of months but for now it's just easier for us to use these especially for my husband so eventually I think probably once he hits like five or six months I'm gonna switch him over but for now we have these and then in here I just have a bunch of like sample stuff and I'm probably gonna be using this for when we're traveling next month so yeah just have a bunch of that sunscreen stuff and then in here I have some swaddles these like kind of portable or you know kind of like um what are they called they're kind of like changing mats too so they have like a plastic side and then a cloth side so that way it doesn't leak through so these usually I'll put in my diaper bag so that if I change them in the car or anywhere then there's that then I have a bath towel here some other I don't know what's at, what's down there and here I have burp cloths and then in this one I have beanies and all that good stuff and then in this next drawer, I have all of his clothes. So right now we're transitioning to three month, zero to three month clothes. So this is all zero to three month now and a little bit of newborn that still fits him. And here we have pants. And here we have three month to six months. And then in here 
socks, more socks, and then a bunch of just random clothes and onesies and stuff that I still haven't managed to fold or fit in here, so, yep. And then in that bottom drawer, I just have a bunch of blankets and random stuff that I have no idea where to place, so I'm not gonna open that one. In this corner, I have the diaper genie, and if you guys didn't notice, those right there are, what are they called? Surfboard shelves from Pottery Barn Kids, but there's no wall where I can hang them because they're about four feet long, and I'm using every wall where it would possibly fit, so I just have those in the corner, one right there, and then one in that corner over there, and I think it just adds a cool aesthetic to it anyways, but eventually I'll figure out where to put them because up there is just way too high, so I don't know. But anyways, moving along to this side, I have a couple of pieces of aesthetic clothes that I think just matches like the theme and like the color scheme. So I definitely want to switch the hangers to maybe some wooden ones for babies because I have wooden ones but they're for adult clothing. So they're going to look way too massive on this but for now I just have these gray ones and I just have these pieces right here. And then up on top I have this really cute stingray plush. It's so adorable. And then a little like wooden van and this I got at Michael's that I just found randomly. This little container of seashells. This water bottle that I just put seashells in with some rocks and stuff in it. And basically what I'm looking to do with this is I want to go buy a betta fish and put them in there. But I don't know. I'm still considering it because I don't want it like I don't want it to be cruel if you know what I mean. But you know betta fish usually tend to live in these types of environments anyway. And I don't know if it's too small anyway. I don't know. I'll have to research about it. But but yeah, I'm, that's my goal is to put a betta fish in there. And then up there I have some books. This is a photo album that I just put wooden letters. It says Carter on it. And then up on the top I have an Ikea plant that just falls down that way. And then I have a little like jewelry tray that's an anchor and a photo frame that's also an anchor. And that's that. And then in the closet, it's still not super organized, but I'll show you guys. So in here, I have all of his clothes that I can hang. Um, and then some other just clothes, like older clothes that's three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Just all random stuff that's not um, buttoned down. So they're like shorts and sweaters and all that. And then over here, I have socks for when he's older. A bunch of nine month clothing and all that good stuff. And then I have these frames that I have no, no idea where to place. And then in there, I just have a mess. Just random stuff that I still haven't, you know, got to use. And then up there I just have these Ikea cubes. And then an elephant plush that was from my previous safari theme. But yeah, that's the closet. And then up there on the ceiling I have this really cute Pottery Barn Kids frame thing that has a whale. I feel like I might be painting that to like a lighter blue. That way it matches everything else. But for now, that's what, you know, it looks like. And then down at the bottom, I just have his little play gym. And that's from Carter's. Um, and then it's just also ocean themed, which is super cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Usually I move this one around. Depending on like where we're hanging out, I'll take it to the living room or leave it in here if I'm like sitting in there with them. But that's what we have there. And then in this corner, I have our rocking chair. And this one's from Target. And then over here, I just have like a little mini sorta gallery wall. It doesn't look the best. It's still missing a bunch of stuff, but you know, it's it looks pretty pretty fine, honestly. It doesn't look terrible. So I just have this like world map and it's like watercolored blue. This frame that has nothing, I have no idea what to put on there. So it just has a privy to sticker on it. Looks like that. And then a clock, this sea foam art print as well from Desenio, and then a California um, wooden print as well because I love California that's where I was born and raised and honestly I want him also to love California as much as I do <laughs> so that's what we have there my husband hates California just because it's so congested and everything but I'm just like I don't care I'm the nature girl I love the beach and that's obviously the reason why I wanted to make this a beach themed nursery or ocean themed or whatever so yeah and here I just have a blue blanket and that's just some dirty clothes that I left there but that's literally it you guys it looks so cute I absolutely love how it looks now I just think that it's a way better use of the space and once I get the actual mobile that is like legit and it's made it's made in Ukraine which is insane and it takes about four weeks to ship so once I get that I'm gonna be so excited to hang it but yeah that's 
That's it, you guys. I love this so much. It's so cute. If you do have any questions on where I got any of this, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to link that. Um, and then also I'll try to link as much as I can in the description for you guys already. I do appreciate if you guys do give a video a thumbs up because nothing is affiliate. I'm not getting any money from this video. So any likes or, you know, just comments really, really help me. So yeah. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked the tour. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video if you did like it. And besides that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.